Hello, my name is Anwar Sarzal. I'm one of the technical consultants at MuleSoft. And today I'm going to walk you through how MuleSoft can help you unlock the data that's residing in my on-prem system and make it available to any of my external systems so I can provide real-time visibility into this information that they need. So in my example, I'm going to use Salesforce. So this is going to be my SaaS application. And SAP is going to be my backend system. This is where my product inventory information resides. So the scenario here is, you know, I'm a salesperson, I'm at a customer side, and I want to make a promise that I want to deliver on some of these products, right? But I'm not very sure whether or not we have the right amount of inventory that we need because that information resides in SAP. So how can I confidently promise that to my customer, right? So what we're going to do is within Salesforce, as part of my opportunity, I'm going to check for availability. And I'm going to get that real-time availability information from SAP, return the data back into my Salesforce so I can confidently say, yes, we have the level of inventory that you need, or no, we don't, we don't have that, right? The, the problem that we're looking to solve is a lot of times customers do this by running some nightly batch job that takes the data and we synchronize it from SAP into Salesforce, right? The first problem with that is well, it's run, it's, if it runs as a nightly job, then the information I'm looking at it could already be stale. And the second problem is because I'm duplicating this data, there could be some misinformation. Um, or if something changes on the back end side, now I have to wait until the next morning for that information to be replicated. Right? Rather than trying to duplicate the data in multiple places, what if there was a way where I can call an API and that API goes out to my back end system? gets that information and populates it into Salesforce so I know the exact accurate count of this, in this example, the product inventory level. And, and we could do that because we support a hybrid deployment model. It's very common for, very easy for these you know, on-prem systems that sit, sit within your firewall to make outbound calls using standard HTTP to get information uh, from a SaaS application like Salesforce. The real problem happens is when a SaaS application needs some information that's in my data center. How do we go beyond the firewall to get that information that I need? And this is where uh, MuleSoft's Cloud Hub comes in handy. I can now host those APIs in MuleSoft, right? And, and that, this cloud extension uh, essentially becomes an extension of your data center. We have some way um, through a VPN tunnel or some peering methods to for these resources to get access to the backend system. So, so what we're with an architecture like this, this cloud or these you know, systems that are running in the cloud now become an extension of, of your data center. They can host these services that have availability into my backend system. And now I can expose those services for a cloud application like SaaS or like Salesforce to get access to the data. Okay, and by providing this information in a more real-time format, you know, I eliminated, I eliminated the data synchronization issues, this, the stale issues, and I avoided having to duplicate that data in multiple places. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, in my example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Salesforce, and then I want to say I want to create a new opportunity. So this was going to be my new deal that I'm going to do and this is for a customer say Fox Entertainment and as I'm talking to them you know this is the date where they where I think this business is going to close and right now it is at you know this stage where we're talking through some pricing right and in this example um, the product that I want again this is another example of how MuleSoft can get various product information and expose them Right? So I don't have to duplicate this information in, in Salesforce as well. Uh, but in my example, I'm going to say that you know I'm selling these, these telephones. I'm going to select that and say that I want to promise 20 of these telephones that my customers want. Right? Now, uh, before I make any promise to my customers, I can actually go in and click on this button. Uh, my available to promise button and this is going to make an API call to uh, MuleSoft that's going to go in turn call SAP and get that information 
real time and populate that information in Salesforce. It goes, right? So in a matter of second, I actually went out and pulled up, hey, I have lots of these telephones in stock and you can confidently promise that to the customer and we'll be able to deliver that. Okay, so here's a very simple example of how a backend API can expose this data and the beauty of this is all of this is hidden from my consumer. It just works, right? So when I need um, accurate information, I simply click, click a button that calls an API and gets the data. And now this information is extremely important and it's right at my fingertips. Now to, to extend this demo a little bit, if now the customers are happy and they say, you know, yes, we want to go ahead and do business with you, I can now set this opportunity to stage to say close one, right? Now, just like how we did earlier, where when we went in and called SAP to get product information, now we're going to take this information about the fact that we won the business. Now we're going to make a very similar call to SAP and create an order number and have that information be populated back into this view as well. So it provides me a single view of you know this opportunity not only the status of my inventory level, but after I won this business, actually the fact that yes, we did create an order and here's the order number, um, here's the details, and then here's the PO number if you wanted that level of detail. So all of this information is right at my fingertips. And at the same time, what I didn't have to do is I didn't have to rely on some batch process that um, it's going to execute at the end of the night and you know, hopefully there's no problems and I, I'll get some email saying, hey, there was issues um, a day later and I'm already off of my customer site and now I need to go back to them with this information. Okay, So what's powering this in the, on the back end is the AnyPoint platform. So in here I have, uh, I have a, an API that's, that's running. In this case, this one's called order to cash and then and if in, for some reason, you know, something went wrong and, and something broke, right? If I wanted to troubleshoot, I can now go into this runtime manager and just go in and say, hey, let me um, look for that one opportunity, which we, what I called um, the real deal. Let's see, you know, if there's any problems with it. And I can actually go in and it shows me the fact that, yes, it was completed. There is no issues. And if I wanted, I can actually go into the details or view the logs of what actually happened. So essentially what we're doing is we're making this integration seamless, we're providing real-time information, and if things break, we're providing real-time visibility into this to quickly help you find and fix the problem. Hopefully this helps. Thank you for watching.